Hello, my name is Richard, and welcome to my dungeon. Today, we're going to be doing a double unboxing. First, we're going to go over Army Painter's Undead Paint Set. This includes 10 colors, plus a Sarerac. Remember, this was the Lich from our last adventure, the Tomb of Horrors? But I've never assembled a minifigure before, so I bought Army Painter's Toolkit. Dungeon Crawlers Level 1. Here's a final paint set. This one's the Undead paint set. I already have the Adventure, Monster, and Underdark. So here goes. Let's see. Okay. Since this is my fourth set, let me know if there's anyone out there who knows how I should organize all of these little bottles. Looks like it comes with the same instructions as we've seen. Nothing new. The set includes 10 12 milliliter paint bottles. Two of these have come in existing kits. This is the one of the existing ones, Moldy Wash. It's a green wash. And then I believe there's a red one here. That's Vampire Garments. That's an existing paint. And all the rest of these are exclusive. So this one looks interesting. Cursed Blade. I don't know, it looks kind of like a copper. This one I heard about, it looked interesting. It's Wraith Black, and it kind of, they added some maybe dark blue to it. Ethereal Spectre, it's kind of a purple. Then we have Dracolich Scales, a blue. And then another kind of looks like green, ghastly vapors. And then the last three we have, this one's just a ghoul gray. And this is cold flesh. Looks another gray kind of blue. And then the last seemed interesting. This is a bleach skull. So it's a little bit darker of an off-white. Lastly is the big guy. Here's a Serac. Last time we spoke about a Serac, he was actually just a skull. But this is Serac. A Serac has a full body. So I'm going to cut these out, assemble them, and paint them, and let's see what we get. Here's Army Painter's Hobby Tool Kit. I looked around, and I couldn't find my pair of cutters. I, I used to have some, and then the only thing I could find were some X-Acto blade, blades. So instead, I decided just to get this kit and kind of start over. Let's here, let's see what we get. Looks like it's the same instructions we always get. Here it is. I thought the, the glue looked bigger in the package, but in the box, but it's pretty small. Here's the glue. Probably just basic super glue. Here they are. Looks like a basic set. Here's a small hobby sculpting tool. Here's the hobby knife. It's definitely an upgrade. The last hobby knife I had was just the standard chrome exacto blades. But this looks more heavy duty. And a file. And then let's go. There's the drill. Looks pretty heavy duty. I like it. And here are the bits. 
and then the last is the green stuff this we could use to fill up any holes or gaps in figures and remember we bought the Drist figure from eBay that was kind of defective maybe I could fix it with this okay here we go each piece is labeled with numbers and I'm starting with number one which is the base and uh, cutting it out the base carefully and after that I'm going to cut out pieces two and three and here's pieces two and three and this is just a dry fitting but then later I will glue them here's the next piece it's kind of a back piece it has a Sarax staff. This piece is a cloak, and then it also covers up a Sarax shoulder as well. I definitely had problems on this. It was pretty fiddly to get two small headpieces to line up correctly. Here's a figure after the second coat of primer. I liked how it turned out. The figure has some very nice detail, especially with a lot of overlapping cloaks. And I decided to paint the base separately, mostly because I just didn't want it to interfere with painting of the robes. So I think it'll be easier to do that separately. Here's how a Sarek turned out. First thing I want to say, it's I was quite surprised with the size of the figure. For comparison, here's a human. I believe a paladin and that's quite a size difference remember in AD&D a Sarak was just a skull so he definitely leveled up for the colors I stuck to what was I tried to stick to what was included in the kit I did use army painters gray primer to start but the cloak I used was um, vampire garments and then the skull Kind of the skull area, the crown, was cursed blade. And it turned out to be a kind of a golden metallic color. So I really like that one. And then the staff is bleached bone. And then the outer cloak, it's a kind of a dark blue color. And that's wraith black, which I really like that color. And then the other garment... The inner garment was uh, from Monster Painters. It's Beholder Purple. Sincerely, thank you for watching. If you made it this far, please subscribe to the channel. It would definitely help me. And you'll be notified when the next adventure is ready. You could also click over to be taken to another adventure. And I'll see everybody on the next Dungeon Crawl.